maintenance of time. Pray y'all. All right, so. Oh, we're going to show magnets falling through a tube in slow motion. Yes, um, oh. eddy currents. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I have a non magnetic uh, little zinc uh, nut here we can use as a reference to see the <laughs> pad didn't help. That it, uh, it falls at a normal rate. Nothing to see here. You might be. It might be understandable that this would be confused as a, with a magic trick, but this is a very strong neodymium magnet. And uh, I got the idea for this off the internet, by the way. And they sell kits with very thick copper pipe, but this is just copper pipe from um, from Home Depot. Some strong neodymium magnets I bought off of Amazon. We'll drop them in. And so, in an attempt to explain this, uh, see if I can get this right. When a magnet passes across the conductor, um, the conductor doesn't, it's not ferromagnetic or anything like that, it induces an electrical current. Um, and this is usually in a circulating motion, and these electrical currents then produces a magnetic field that opposes the original motion of the magnet across the conductor. So, um, drop it in. It's actually kind of interesting. You can drop it in down here. Pull this thing up. Pull it out. Um, and then this should work with any conductor. So another thing we can do is uh, demonstrate it more visibly here with a piece of aluminum angle iron. I'll take this as the uh, nut. It's not magnetic. You see, it just kind of slides down the angle iron. And this is one of the magnets. And it will slide very, very slowly down the angle iron. This is much slower because it's in closer proximity to the, to the aluminum. Not because it's a better conductor, because it's not as good a conductor. And then I'll pass this around as well. And we'll just play with this. Um, you can actually feel the effect if you take one of these magnets and kind of rub it real quickly across this piece of aluminum, which is smooth, but you can kind of feel it repelling the, you know, working against it, acting as kind of a magnetic break. So, that's it. That's the show and tell. Cool. And I'll pass these around and everybody can play with them. And it's kind of fun to drop it in and watch it float slowly down the pipe. The uh, only thing I ask is these are very brittle. They'll break if they uh, drop I and mean, hit the, the floor uh, too hard. So we we'll just kind of try to catch them. So what's your next experiment? Levitating a frog? <laughs> How much is that? That would take a lot of energy. Yeah, I just need more gigajoules. <laughs> How much is that?